Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. Today we are taking some cheap found Walmart items like bags of bones and a little PVC pipe and making a super cool melee weapon. Yeah. So we are going to attempt to combine some of these cheap plastic things and make something super cool that maybe you could use with your costumes for Halloween or cosplay or to scare people. Let's get to building. So I got all these bones from Walmart. I stock up on Halloween for random ideas through the year. The three inch PVC that you see me using here is a cutoff from a previous build that obviously I hoard random small parts of and I thought it would act as a good anchor for everything. So I cut off the back of the skulls so that the skull forehead would act as the head of the hammer. Wear a respirator with a face shield or some sort of eye protection while you do this. Otherwise, you're going to be breathing in some nasty dust into your lungs and smacking your eyes with random bits of plastic. I have one of these cutting wheels explode on me and the only thing that kept me from losing an eye was my face shield. Safety always. Now I'm drilling a hole straight through the large PVC to make a connection at two points on the handle. This will make it super sturdy. Uh, save the PVC dust. We'll use this here in a second. The PVC dust mixed with super glue makes a rock hard gap filler. It helps reinforce your connections and can be sanded once the super glue has had a second to cure.
thought the spine would make for a cool handle grip and the small bones could act as some sort of decorative bracing. Uh, there's no right or wrong way to use it. If you are looking for what to do with some of these other bones, you could check out my Far Cry Primal and my Skyrim Dragon Bone dagger builds. To fit the spine in the handle, I had to step down the radius of my PVC. Some sanding and super glue was definitely involved. The thickest is one inch PVC, then it steps down to three quarter inch. This acts as a spacer for the half inch that slides through the spine. Then you just sandwich the other side, stepping back up in thickness. Using the cutting wheel on my Dremel, I carved out some wood grain texture for the remaining part of the handle. I spray painted it all white after a light sanding, then some light misting of off-white and light browns on the bone parts and some dark browns for the wood. Next was some acrylic washes of dark brown and black over the entire thing. Then you take a paper towel and wipe off most of it, getting it into all the cracks to pick up all the detail work. Then I dry brush some lighter shades of white and light brown to kind of pull it back to give a better contrast between the two.
I use this faux fur from the craft store to hide my transitions between materials and tied it all together with some distressed white t-shirt strips. Then I added some faux suede strips for lacing and a little splatter of red acrylic for blood effect. Use hot glue when attaching stuff to fur because super glue will actually bleach out the color from the fake fur. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, I think it turned out pretty cool. Definitely a unique build to say the least. You may remember a while back I made some Far Cry Primal stuff that closely resembles this kind of motif. Um, I also made a custom skull mace type melee weapon not too long ago that I sold. Uh, and it also kind of has that same style. but. You can get these cheap skull plastic things pretty much everywhere right now and just incorporate it into something that's super cool and actually pretty hefty. Maybe you will try and make one of these skull hammers yourself and impress your friends with your ingenuity to turn human skulls into um, deadly weapons. My, my mom always said I had a hard head, so maybe it could be used for this someday. Pre preferably not. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these. Tell them, much props. You know the routine by now. I have to do it. I have to. Ah!